Hello everybody and welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to build my cauldron password lock. Now as you can see, we have four different little combinations right here, each containing one cauldron. Now how this thing works is behind one of these blocks is a comparator that will pick up the signal from the cauldron. So let me just show you really quick. Back here we have a comparator that will pick up the signal through the block from the cauldron so all we have to do is get the cauldron over each block that is the right block and it will open up our secret door passageway whatever you wanted to open it up is completely up to you guys so my password is top right bottom left bottom right top left so let's go ahead and put it in so this cauldron needs to be at the top right block right there so we click this button and our piston will push our cauldron right in front of that block so top right and then this one has to be in the bottom left so click this button and our piston will push our cauldron to the bottom left this one's going to be the bottom right so we got to click this one down and then click this one over to the bottom right and then this one has to be at the top left so let's click this one up and then this one over and now our secret entrance should open up right here now i'm not going to be showing how to build this secret entrance guys you can build whatever you like it's up to you but i just have a little ladder that leads down here with a diamond inside of a chest and then when we're ready to leave we just go like this leave the area and then if you want to all you have to do is just leave one area locked so you don't have to do every single individual area however if you think your friends are smart enough then i highly recommend locking the entire thing so let's go ahead and look at the redstone guys there is literally nothing to this thing whatsoever as you can see we have a bunch of comparators running out of these blocks into torches that will unlock our one little area that has our input well i should say this is our output i guess no this is our input <laughs> there's our input now up here we just have a infinite circle going on and off because i don't know if this is happening in the pc but on the console for some reason when you move a cauldron behind a block away from a comparator the comparator will stay on forever so i'm just giving you guys a heads up there so we do need this infinite circuit right here however i don't know if that's a problem on the pc so let's go ahead and start building this thing guys it's very easy build all right guys so for this build we're going to need a six by six spacing now obviously this is just for one of the inputs i'm going to show how to build another one too but it's very easy guys for this build, we are going to need eight buttons, eight pistons, one redstone comparator, one redstone torch, one bucket of water, and one cauldron for each individual little slot. Now, this is just for one of these things. If you're going to build four, five, ten of these things, then you're going to have to double it up every single time. Now, for our little uh, circuit going on and off right here, our little clock circuit, we are going to need one redstone comparator, one furnace, just get a handful of redstone dust. This is for the entire build. And we're also going to need a repeater for our little circuit right there. And then last but not least, we just need some blocks of choice. I'm going to be using quartz as my block of choice and some blocks to put our redstone down on. So let's go ahead and start building this thing, guys. So once you've gotten your six by six spacing, come down here and just make a four by four block on your six by six. So one, two, three, four, like that. Then we're going to come up four, one. One, two three four over four one two three four and one two three four just like that and then we're gonna go ahead and spread buttons along each side of our four by four like so then next what we're gonna do is swing to the inside of our build and we're gonna face pistons inwards around the entire thing so one two like that one two one two one two one two just like that so when we click our button our pistons should activate beautiful Next, what I want you to do is take out your cauldron. You can place it wherever you want. It really doesn't matter, but I'm going to place mine right here and put my water in it just like that. Then we're going to swing over onto the inside and choose a block of choice here. You will be able to see these blocks to put on the backside. Now, this part is completely up to you. You get to choose any one of these blocks to be your input for your password. So just go ahead and choose whichever one. You can choose it randomly, or you can actually have a kind of pattern you want to go with it. However, I'm going to make mine right where my cauldron is. I'm just going to put mine where my cauldron is. So I'm just going to come out, come out a block like that. And then coming out of this block that has the cauldron on this side, I'm going to go ahead and put my comparator going like this. And as you can see, my comparator comes on because the cauldron is on the opposite side, picking up the signal. Next, what we're going to do is put a block in front of our comparator and put a torch in front of it. And that is literally the entire thing, guys, except for our clock right there. Now, the reason why we need that clock motion right there is because for some reason, when you push a cauldron away from the block behind it, the comparator will stay on forever, which we cannot have. So as you can see, look, see where this cauldron is. If I push it away from it and we come back over here, this comparator is still on forever unless we update it, then it will go off. That's why we need that clock going on and off, on and off right here. So now we're going to go ahead and put in our clock right here. All right, guys. So now we're going to do our clock motion. So this gets updated. So what I want you to do is come to the top left. Now, if you did put your comparator up here, all you have to do is just put a block right above here. So if you don't have a comparator right here, just go like this. However, you do have a comparator right there, you know, just go into sneak mode and put your block right above your comparator. Next, what I want you to do is put a piece of redstone dust on top of this block and then come out two blocks 
one two put a repeater going into that block so let me go ahead and take out my repeater right here put a repeater going into that redstone dust then put a comparator going into the back of that repeater and put your comparator into subtraction mode then behind this comparator we're going to go ahead and put a furnace and then inside your furnace put one item that's all you need is just one item in there and then what we're going to do is wrap this redstone dust over to here and bring it down like this so now we have an infinite cycle going on however if your comparator is down here guys if your comparator is off this one right here what you're going to have to do is delete this redstone dust right here put the block down here put a block up here and then put redstone dust like that now that's if your comparator starts there mine does not start there so i'm going to go ahead and delete that and we're just going to literally bring this down like this to update our comparator so now this is going to be updating our comparator forever so now if i move my cauldron back behind this comparator as you see it is on but however if i push it back over as you can see it is off now because this is updating your comparator forever now if you saw as well when we push our pistons you can actually see through the little crack right here so what i like to do is take out my block of choice once you got your block of choice out just literally put it around your pistons like this just so you don't see inside the little area back there because if you you might be able to see some redstone if you don't do this like that beautiful so now when we click our pistons as you can see you can't see any oh, we almost forgot one here and one here one here and one here so now if we click our pistons we will no longer be able to see back there there we go beautiful but that is it guys you are completely done so now if you want to you can just go ahead and put some glass right here so no one can jump inside there now i'm going to show you how to do it one more time guys and then how to hook them up together so you can open up a door secret passageway or whatever you really want to open up all right guys so before we start on the second one if you want to you can put them right next to each other you can literally put them right next to each other however i like to skip one just because i, have, I like to have this little border going around it because it makes it look more like a vault kind of deal but if you don't want to you can have them right next to each other however i'm going to be putting mine at least one away from them so all you have to do is just skip one over and then just make another little four by four spacing of blocks like this we're gonna go a little faster this time guys because it's literally the same thing over and over again so then we're gonna go button 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 all along the outsides of our blocks go on the inside and make sure all your pistons are facing inward so one two one two one two one two they are all facing inwards and go ahead and place down your cauldron and make sure you put water inside of it or it will not work like that then we could swing on to the inside and then put our four blocks of choice around the backhand side now this is where you get to choose where your input goes so i'm going to make mine go up this time i'm going to make mine the top right corner right here so let's go ahead and take out our yellow stained clay and we are also going to need our comparator we're going to bring it out right here put a comparator going like this then we're going to go ahead and put a block in front of our comparator like that with a redstone torch like so why did i use yellow and whatever <laughs> you get the understanding of how this is and then all we have to do is just bring this current over to this comparator so we're just gonna go like this and you know i'm just gonna bring it up i'm just gonna bring it up now and we're gonna bring it right over it like that and now we just hook it up like this and now this one's getting updated as well so now what we have to do is just hook these two torches together which is very easy all i like to do is usually just make a line and then right when we get to this torch just come down one and then over and then this one will pick up the line right there so if we go like this and just bring our redstone down this line do 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 as you can see it is completely activated through both torches now you get to choose what your output is you can make it a jeb door you can make it just a little door like i did over there then you can choose it off any part of this line guys so if you want to put a repeater going this way you want a repeater going this way you can have it open up multiple doors however you are completely done guys so usually what i do is i always have my output coming out of one of the ends of it and then obviously you can add on as many more as you want to and of course we want to clean up this area so we don't see any of the redstone behind it so we're just going to go ahead and place some blocks here some blocks here there we go let's clean up this whole entire area so we can't see any of our redstone mess back here there we go beautiful so now to open up our let's say we want to turn off a lamp let's just turn off a lamp so let me take out a lamp real quick you know what let's open a door we're going to make it so it opens up a door so we're, we're going to invert this we're going to invert this signal we're going to put an off torch here as you see the torch is off and we're going to have it open up an iron door that's going to be right here so let me go ahead and take out an iron door real quick so let's get out ourselves an iron door right here and we're going to place our iron door like that and then we're just going to send a signal to this iron door real quickly so let me get out some redstone dust and we're just going to bring a signal to it like this very easily like that so now all we have to do is just put our cauldrons in the right spot so it's going to be the top right one and the bottom left one right here so i forgot to put the glass in so let's go ahead and put our glass in like that beautiful 
So the top right one right here, and that will turn off the torch. You see the torch went off, but this is still off because of this one still on. Now we have to push this one over here to the left, and that iron door should open up. So, boop, nope, I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> push this back down, and then push this over to the left. And as you can see, our iron door opened up. Now, if you're wondering, okay, well, the door opened up FedEx. How do I close it from the inside? Well, that is very easy, guys. All you have to do is just send power to that line back there. So see this line right here? All we have to do is just send power to this line. So when you come through your iron door or whatever kind of door you're making or whatever you're going to be making this out of, all you have to do is just send power to this line and it will close your door. See, it is that easy, guys. So there you guys have it. That is how you build my cauldron password lock. Now, if you want to, if you did split it up like I did, you can go ahead and put a cool little border around it to make it feel like a vault door. And then obviously, when you're ready to close it, you just click over one of these buttons and it will close the door. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys, peace.